What's going on guys, it's Kyle here, and today we're gonna to talk about house hacking. Uh, we're gonna talk about what it is and how I've utilized it twice now to live very cheaply and also get myself deeper into real estate. Uh, but first, if you have not yet liked the video, um, I'm gonna start calling it Graham Stephaning the like button. If you don't know what that means, uh, go watch one of Graham Stephan's videos and then you'll understand why I'm, I'm saying that. So anyways, I uh, appreciate you guys watching the video and hopefully you enjoy it. All right, so first of all, if you don't know what house hacking is, it's uh, a term that was probably coined by Brandon Turner. Um, he's a big real estate guy. He runs, or he's part of uh, a website called Bigger Pockets, and he has a big podcast. But anyways, it's more or less where you live in one of the units and then you rent out the others. Now, I've done this twice now. The first time was a duplex. I lived in one unit and I rented out the other side. So the tenant on the other side was pretty much paying the full mortgage amount. And then I had two roommates living with me and they pretty much uh, covered all of my utility costs. So essentially I was living for almost free. Now that's a great way to get into real estate on your first deal because you can qualify for a very low down payment. Now, if you guys have any interest in doing this, I would highly recommend you call your bank wherever you make your deposits and say, hey, I wanna to talk to him about making a, uh, or, or you know, see if I qualify for a home loan. And then you're gonna to talk to him for a little bit and ask them about how you can get into a house with the lowest down payment possible. Uh, I'm really catering towards you know younger people. Maybe you're 18 years old and you, you don't, have, don't have a ton of money. Um, this is a great way because uh, you can qualify for FHA uh, financing, which can be as low as 3.5 to 5 percent down. So you know if you're buying a $100,000 duplex, you know you might only need 3,500 to 5,000. I know 100,000 is probably pretty cheap and probably almost non-existent where you're located, but those deals are out there. I'm just making the point that it is a very low down payment. So if you've not seen my first house hacking video, I recommend after this you go watch it. It talks a lot about the first house hack I did. It shows all the before and after pictures, um, kind of explains the payments and so on and so forth. So go check that video out. But this one I'm gonna talk about is a lot more unique. Now, I'm a residential broker. Uh, that means I sell real estate for clients and I help them buy real estate. Now, I had actually listed this property as part of a package deal with a bunch of other properties with it. Um, the investors were unloading their entire portfolio. Now, when, when they listed it, I knew this property wasn't priced at a really good deal. And when I buy a property, I'm always anxious to buy something that's you know well below uh, the market value so that I can have equity day one. So this thing sat on the market for probably a couple months and you know I had some showings but nothing too serious. And uh, my dad actually mentioned to me, hey, why don't you look at this? Um, you know, I was getting married and oh, I was probably like six months or something like that. He's like, this would be a great property for you guys to house hack. So props to my dad for you know pushing me this direction. Um, like I said, I, I had already house hacked the duplex and you know I knew it was a great concept. However, this would be just a stepping stone into a little bit nicer of a property. So they're asking about 154,000 for the property. Um, you know what, I take that back, it, it was higher than that I ended up talking them down to $154,800. That's how much. Uh, that's how much he uh, sold it to to me for. So he was a car salesman. So he had to add that $800 in there for some reason. But anyways, I uh, bought this thing for $154,800, and I knew again I wasn't buying a screaming hot deal. But the whole concept of doing this is for me was to live affordably. Uh, yes, it, it was a decent investment. It wasn't going to create a, a huge cash on cash return for me. But the strategy that I was looking for was a way for my wife and I to have a nice place to live, but our, our payment extremely low. So I could go back and look at the numbers and I could dial in a lot closer, but I'm just gonna use general numbers right now. So I, I put in about $50,000 into this renovation. So um, you might look at some pictures and you'll see that you know I completely redid the kitchen. The kitchen was this disgusting orange color. Um, the floor was kind of gross and, and the whole house floor actually was really squeaky. So I had to go around and screw it down um, and make sure it wasn't squeaky anymore. So the kitchen had brand new uh, countertops, cabinets, uh, backsplash, new lighting. Um, pretty much the kitchen was brand new. We even added in an island in the middle. So that was great. 
Um, on the floor, we replaced everything. After I screwed down the subfloor, we put in brand new um, vinyl plank, click together plank. It's 100% waterproof, I love it. Um, let's see, in the bathroom, we left the shower, we replaced the toilet, and we uh, I just painted the vanity to save on money, put a new vanity top on it. The bedrooms all got carpet and paint. Um, the biggest change in our unit was probably the basement. So the basement was just pretty much open. Um, it did have the walls already studded up, however, the drywall was not hung on it. So we hung all the drywall, I hired that part out, and then I laid carpet. Um, I actually rehung the ceiling tile and I sprayed it black. I love the look of a uh, black uh, ceiling tile. Actually, if I go like this, you can tell, and even in my office, um, I have the uh, ceiling tile sprayed black. I think it just gives a, a really cool uh, vibe or, or whatever you want to say. Um, so that was our house. Uh, oh, also we added a bathroom in the basement. Um, there was a toilet already existing, but we roughed in for a shower. Um, so now we have two full bathrooms. Uh, one more thing I'll add, the, the uh, kitchen cabinets and countertop that was upstairs in the kitchen, we actually moved that to the basement and created a laundry room. So um, that's really great uh, extra space and plenty of extra storage. So the reason I love this property so much is it's actually a single family house. We have our own house, it's got its own full basement. We don't share any walls with tenants but the roof is attached to a three unit in the back. Uh, extremely unique property, and actually it was never intended to be zoned for a multifamily. When I purchased the property, my lender called me and said, hey, you know, you're, uh, you're buying a multifamily building, but the property is zoned single family. So I actually had to go through a whole uh, ordinance change. I had to contact all the neighbors. I had to go stand in front of the city council and ask for them to give me a zoning ordinance, or a, I don't know how to word it, but I had to get them to sign a bunch of pieces of paper and say that it's okay. So I got that approved. I got it purchased, obviously. And um, so once we got my house done, um, I started renovating the three unit. So there's uh, there's three units, like I said. One of them was already rented when I purchased it, so that tenant is still there, um, and he's paying $425, which is definitely below market rents. However, he's a great tenant. He's been there for a long time. Um, he takes care of the place, and also, that unit has not been renovated. So uh, the next two units that I did, um, you know, when I purchased the property, I actually had to ask one of the people to leave. One of them was vacant. Um, so unit one was occupied, unit two was vacant, and unit three was occupied, and she's the one I had to ask to leave. Um, these units are about 425 to 450 square feet, and she had like four people living in there and a huge dog, and it was an absolute disaster. So um, I actually worked with her to have her relocated, and that worked out great. So. In these units, what I did was, um, it was pretty much a, a complete rehab. Um, I painted all the walls, like a, a, a agreeable gray is the color I usually use. Um, I did vinyl click together plank on the floor. I did brand new kitchens, brand new backsplash. Um, one of the units got a brand new bathtub. The other one was, was fine, if I remember right. Yes, one of them was fine. Um, pretty much all the all the appliances were brand new, all the hardware, the doorknobs and, and things like that are, are, are all new. So those units, when I bought the thing, I think that lady in the back was paying like $375 or something. So once I dumped in the money to renovate it, um, I upped the rent to $485 and that's where they are right now. So two of the units are currently at four eighty five and the second one or the third one is at four twenty five so if you add that up it's right below fourteen hundred dollars I believe um, and I think my mortgage payment is about nine hundred and forty one dollars so that easily covers the mortgage payment now yes I have taxes insurance and then you're just your general repairs and maintenance numbers but all around that fourteen roughly fourteen hundred dollars a month um, saves me you know paying that nine hundred and forty one dollar mortgage payment every every single month so you know not only am I saving on that but I'm building equity in this property every single month also I'm not paying rent you know the house that we are living in should rent for about twelve hundred dollars a month if we weren't living here so we're saving uh, you know a lot of money by doing that so another video I'm gonna start making is our garage transformation so I'm building out a home gym in our garage it's like five feet from our house it's a two-car garage and we're gonna split it right down the middle and we're gonna build out a garage uh, gym. So that way we can just wake up and walk right out and, and work out. So uh, that'll be a fun video. 
Um, you know, my wife and I are all about efficiency and not overspending. So, you know, yes, there's gonna be an upfront cost of building out a gym, but we won't have to spend the time driving 15 minutes to the gym, you know, every day there and back, the gas money, and then, you know, 60 bucks a month in the membership. Instead, we're just gonna do it right at our house and it'll just really cut down on our cost. So back to the main point, house hacking. I think that it's very valuable for, you know, someone who's young to, you know, call up their lender and say, hey, you know, what can I qualify for? How much money, you know, would I be eligible to, to loan from you guys? Figure out if you qualify for a low down payment loan and then you may only have to put, you know, 3.5 to 5% down. So that's a great way for you to get into a, a, a multifamily building and then you're you're also going to figure out whether or not you like managing a property. So, you know, living next to your tenants is not always, you know, fun. Um, you're probably going to get some calls like, hey, I lost my keys or hey, you know, the toilet's not working. But, you know, that's actually pretty rare. Um, if I added up the amount of time that I spent on these tenants here, it's maybe oh, 10 minutes a month, if even. So, and also you'll get to the point where you can just call a plumber or call a locksmith if you need to. So I think it's a really great idea just to get your, you know, get your first deal locked in. You know, the, the first deal is always the hardest. So house hacking is a very easy way to get that first deal locked up. All right, guys. Well, thanks for watching this video. I um, hope it was somewhat informative and you enjoyed the uh, before and after pictures of some of the units. So um, if you guys like the video, don't forget to like. Uh, if you haven't subscribed, do that. I'm, I'm trying to grow my channel and grow my reach. But I uh, appreciate you guys watching and uh, we'll talk to you in the next one.